Welcome. This is your town. I'm Marianne Leffel. I'm your host today. I'm with the Monterey County Business Council, and we're happy to present new things, maybe things you haven't heard about or things you need refreshing on, uh, what's going on around your town and your community. So today I've got a special guest, and uh, she's kind of my savior, uh, Kimberly Craig. Kimberly Craig, new president, CEO of the Monterey County Business Council. Welcome. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Yeah. I'm really excited to uh, take on the position with Monterey County Business Council and have big shoes to fill with Marianne Leffel uh, as my as my lead. Well, that's uh, that's that's neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> There's always work to be done in this Absolutely, county. Absolutely, <laughs> always. <laughs> uh, Business Council really is the the one organization that never. Um, sleeps. <laughs> well, they never ever flee from the word development or economic, and those two words are okay. So. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, when you are um, trying to uh, move the needle forward with the county, certainly uh, economic development is, is a critical element to making sure that you have a successful county. So let's talk about the Business Council a minute. You've been there, what, about six months now? Mm -hmm. Seems like, wow. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I started in July. Um, on a side note for uh, somebody that is just watching for the first time, I'm a city councilwoman in the city of Salinas. Uh, grew up uh, on the Monterey Peninsula, Carmel High graduate, Monterey Peninsula College graduate, Naval Postgraduate School graduate, um, and really have been... Um, focused around uh, greater issues within the county, even as a councilwoman for the city of Salinas. So it was a natural fit for me to come into the Monterey County Business Council and, um, and to take on issues um, that were really important um, for the growth and long-term vision of the county. So I'm excited to be here. Well, I think, you know, what's important is that this county is big geographically, but it should all work together, and it doesn't. So as much as we can do to foster that, it's, it's important. So let's talk about some programs. So one program is brand new, and it's Leadership Monterey County. And um, I, th I think that was your first big mission, was like, hey, get this <laughs> thing up and running. Get it up and running, yep. <laughs> um, it's been kind of uh, floundering for a while. So I'm excited. You've got a, a class that you're taking applications for right now. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, absolutely. So um, in years past, there's been a Leadership Salinas Valley and a Leadership Monterey Peninsula. And um, both organizations came to the Monterey County Business Council and said, we really think that um, the issues with leadership in the county should be countywide and not, you know, fractioned. Um, and so the Monterey County Business Council is taking it on. We've hired a facilitator. Her name's Jan Hunter. Uh, she has an MBA. Her experience is in workforce development and corporate training. She's a rock star. Um, and we are currently accepting applications for our first class, which launches February 23rd of 2018. So applications are due by January 22nd. I want to make sure that I get that out. And um, you can apply online at leadershipmc.org. The kind of individuals we're looking for for the class are people who are on the management track for their companies. Um, and it's really designed, the program itself is designed to educate somebody who might be in hospitality that doesn't know a lot about the ag industry, or somebody who might be in healthcare that doesn't know a lot about the education industry here in Monterey County. And so each class um, is one day a month. It's on the fourth Friday. Uh, it's an all-day class, so you'll need to t take a day off of work and probably permission from your employer to do so. But the intent there is to immerse someone into the industries that make Monterey County successful. So we have an, uh, an agricultural day. We have a hospitality day. We have a South County day because I think Really, there are a lot of things that are going on in both North and South County that kind of get overlooked. Um, large corporations, industries that are happening in both areas. Uh, we have an Art and Culture and History Day, um, Defense and Military, excuse me, Defense and Security Day, um, where we're gonna be taking a look at the Naval Postgraduate School, the Defense Language Institute, and the companies that blossom out of um, the success of our defense community here in Monterey County. 
Um, and those are all, you know, each class is designed around each one of those industries. It's a 10-month program. It goes February to November. And um, we're, we've received several applications already. So we're hoping for a rock star first class. I know that we have um, commitments from large companies uh, in uh, Monterey County who are stepping up. We have general managers, presidents who will be giving the personal field tour, giving the personal on-site discussion. And it's kind of a no-bones approach to um, what's, what some of the issues are in Monterey County. So uh, this class will start in February and then it will end in November. And uh, there is uh, a cost, even though we're not supposed to talk about cost because this is a non-commercial, uh, but this sure. is a non it's a tuition, sure, yeah. So it is a tuition, and that's what, 2000 $2,000, right. And um, we've found that a lot of uh, companies are willing to put um, their employees through leadership training. And, and um, I, I, should be, I should clarify and note that it's not necessarily focused around how to how to speak publicly in front of a crowd or you know how to how to manage employees or anything along those lines it's really focused around the economic drivers of Monterey County and part of that is so that as we have people here who are um, moving up in their own career they have a comprehensive understanding of how economic development works in this county infrastructure is a critical issue um, you know how uh, how relations with local government play a role in how you can get development done or not get development done. Um, we have had several issues in the city of Salinas with losing big business to South County because South County, frankly, is much friendlier in, in many capacities. They're much more agile. Yes, agile. That's a good <laughs> word. <laughs> much more diplomatic <laughs> word. <laughs> They're much more agile with how, um, how they can bring companies in and manufacturing companies and whatnot. So, um, you know, we plan to talk about the conference center and the relationship between the city of Monterey and the conference center and Portola Hotel and, and some of the big issues in the hospitality industry. We plan to cover affordable housing and how some companies, some big companies like Community Hospital and the Pebble Beach Company are building homes for, you know, building affordable housing for their employees. Um, those are things that are very, very critical to the success of Monterey County. And I'm looking forward to really sort of educating a wider audience on some of that. You know, you can only get so much from a three minute video on the six o'clock news or a quick story in your local paper, but really an in-depth approach I think is, is gonna be important. Well, you know, I, I am um, an, an LMP uh, alum, and you are a, a LSB. <laughs> an LSB alum, and I found it really important to me, I went through in the late 80s, that it was really important to kind of learn who the players were in things like the arts or the um, health care, just to kind of get a better grasp of it, and I'm saddened when I go to council meetings and to the Board of Supervisors and someone stands at the mic and says, I moved here four years ago and I bought my house and now I don't want blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking you need to understand the background of a lot of this before you start deciding what you do or do not want just because now you got yours. So hopefully, you know, this kind of opens people's eyes, um, makes them more aware of the, their surroundings and how the whole region uh, fits together. Absolutely. So. I mean, <clears throat> and I agree with you 100%. I mean, part of when I, when I first got elected into office, I didn't even really understand, and this is to be vulnerable for a brief moment, I didn't really even understand the organizational structure of, you know, a city. And it was fascinating to me that when, you know, the police chief comes to me and says, hey, I need money for this, what do you think about it? You know, I, I didn't have, I was like, well, you're the one with 30 years of police <laughs> experience. And I think, you know, I think it's really a good approach for the general public to sort of understand the vulnerabilities and the strengths of, of the county. And, and um, you know, my time in Leadership Salinas Valley was focused around just learning about that, learning about the Salinas Valley, understanding local government, understanding the ag community, understanding some of the crime issues that they deal with. Um, and it was so helpful for me. So for me to take that and magnify it into a countywide program, I'm really excited to launch it. Oh, they're good. 
Good. Yeah. So once again, they can find an application online at www.leadershipmc, like as in Monterey County, leadershipmc.org.org. Okay. So applications um, till January 22nd. But don't wait. Yeah, don't wait. I'm, I've already <laughs> taken a ton of them, so please, please apply as soon as possible. And there will be um, minimum 20, maximum 30. Correct. Yes, class. I think yes. Yeah, so I think that's somewhere around the the time the amount we're going to be accepting. Okay, so that's good, and um, Jan will facilitate, so people will be moving around the county, and they have to give up a full day a month. Correct. Okay. Yes. Okay. But I promise it'll be worth it. Yeah. No, I, <laughs> I, uh, I thought it was one of the most memorable things I've done, and then I also went through. Um, Ag leadership training. And yes. I think, you know, both things together <clears throat> were so important. So we're going to try to give people a snippet of all of that um, in LMC. So yeah. that's very that's excited really about good. it. That's good. So. Thanks for the opportunity to talk about it. I want, you know, want to get as many applications in as possible. We have a great program and, um, like I said, a rock star facilitator. So um, looking forward to launching a really successful program for many years to come. Good. Now, you've got another program, the Procurement Technical Assistance Center. Yes. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> the, um, so we call it PTAC, which is, you know, in, in uh, I'm not a big fan of acronyms, um, but PTAC is, seems to be what rolls off the tongue most easily. The Procurement Technical Assistance Center is a program, federally funded program, that uh, Monterey County Business Council hosts. And um, it's essentially, it's a fantastic program, very, you know, well known in some industries and not very well known in others. Um, but it's basically a federally funded program to help businesses here procure government contracts. And that can be local, state, or federal uh, contracting. And we've had some tremendous success stories out of, uh, out of the Monterey County Business Council and the PTAX uh, programming here in Marina. So it's been a really exciting program. I think um, we had uh, nearly nine million dollars, if I'm not mistaken. I don't, do you know off, do you remember offhand? I don't have my, I'm not very good without a number sheet in front of me, but I think it was nine million dollars um, acquired in the last, in the last quarter. Yeah, the last quarter of, um, of a local, um, local company who had acquired a, a federal contract. It's been very successful program that we have launched. Now I think it's good, and I think the number is approaching 300 million total, total. since the uh, since inception. they began. So 300 so. million dollars in government contracts acquired by Monterey County, and and um, it's 16 counties. We have like a um, a large um, uh, footprint within California in terms of how we can assist um, out outlying uh, counties, but. But we're centered in Monterey County. It's an asset to uh, local businesses here, and and we're really trying to get the word out so that people know that um, government contracts can be really complicated and challenging. I mean, as a small business owner, I, I went after two of them. One was for the Highway Patrol, and um, the other one was for a, a, a city up in Northern California, and promptly got disqualified for both of them. <laughs> Just because a, you know a small technicality can do that, and you know they're they're comprehensive applications, and particularly if you offer a service even for something as simple as marketing to construction, you know disaster cleanup. I mean that that's been one that has really sort of taken off without you know capitalizing on some of the devastation in northern and southern California. There's a real need for um, construction companies and disaster cleanup in the state of California. And those contracts go out to bid. And if you have the capability of of um, assisting and managing those, you have to know how to fill out those government contracts. And I think it's really important to note that um, the procurement staff will not write a request for you. They will not fill out the application for you. But they will look it over before you submit it. And in a couple of cases, they've been very successful in um, bid denials, where they've gone back in and helped the client Appeal. protest it, and they have gotten it reversed and been able to get a, a piece of it for someone here locally. So, you know, there's all types of things that they'll do, but 
there's there was a misconception in the beginning that you could just bring in an idea and somebody would write, write it for write you. it for you. That's yeah, no. Not how I mean, works. we're not going to help you with your college application either. But <laughs> uh, but ultimately, you know, um, they're great about going through. They know um, they know how to fill out those applications. So as you are, you know, starting a new process of trying to um, trying to bid on a government project, they're instrumental in terms of making sure that you do it accurately. So I think it's really good. Now, if they want to get help with the uh, with the contract or with anything that has to do with government contracting, and it's local, it's state, it's um, Defense Department. Yes. And I think, and we've had a real success out there with Forest Service, huge success. To the largest contract initially was thirty five million for. Um, forest cleanup. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important that people understand it's the whole realm, but we are funded by the Defense Department. It's a DOD contract between the Business Council and Defense Department, and so that's important too, that sure. they understand that it's, Absolutely. it's that. So how do they um, get in touch with the PTAC staff? Sure. So PTAC staff, Terry Williams is our um, procurement um, Specialist. She's our director for the PTAC Center. I'll give out her email. It is T Williams, W I L L I A M S, at MCBC, like Monterey County Business Council, MCBC.biz. Um, you can also call 831 216 3000, and um, she is available. We also have uh, part time uh, procurement counselors on staff as well. And based on your needs and the bid that you'd like to go after, she can either help you or have um, a couple of our counselors uh, reach out as well. Terrific. Yeah. So, okay, you've heard about a couple programs. Don't go away. We'll be back in a minute. We'll talk about some more. This is your town, and it's important you know about it. Thank you. Thank you.